One of my favorite missions is flying for pilots and paws, and this time my friend Alyssa joined me to help rescue these dogs. But this flight wasn't without its troubles along the way. Well, I'm gonna try a plat bell and just see if we can get something. I get plat bell either. Approach Cherokee 601. Uh, we think our secondary radio might be having issues. We're gonna be off free for a second. On this flight, my friend Alyssa joined me as we flew to Mineral Point to pick up a few rescue dogs for pilots and paws. The mission was to fly the dogs to Burlington before returning home to Waukesha. Alyssa had just started working towards her instrument rating, so even though the skies were clear, we decided to file an IFR flight plan and I let her work the radios so she could get the practice. Speaking of radios, the in-flight audio in this video is distorted because I had the wrong setting on my voice recorder. It sounds like we're doing a lot of yelling at each other in the controllers, but I can assure you it was a relaxed indoor voice atmosphere in the cockpit. Um, if you want the radios, the radios are yours. Alright, I will take over the radios from here. Alright. Okay, Tower, Cherokee 15601, holding short runway 28, ready for departure. Cherokee 15601, Rockstar, roger, working on your release. Cherokee 15601, Rockstar, on departure, fly direct destination, runway 28, clear for takeoff. Direct destination, clear for takeoff 28, oh. Cherokee 601. Oh, what I was going to say there for a second. Oh, different plane, I had to make sure I looked over there. Yeah, let's clear over here. Alright, final's clear. 28 as we turn left will be about a 280 heading. I'm familiar with the airport. To know that this is a 28. Flaps are up, car beat off, mixture forward, prop forward, fuel pump is on, lights are all on. I see a 28 on the runway. I do as well. There you go. There you go. Alright, wind is off the right a little bit. So we'll get our crosswind correction there. Whoop, we didn't do windows, that's fine. I got the scoop out, takeoff power is set, we're achieved, DGTs are good, gauge is green and green, fuel flow sufficient, air speed's alive and climbing, and we're rotating by the intersection. Come on, girl. There's that density altitude, and there's 90. Walk to the tower, I'll just that mic delta is in balance. I'll check the tower, we'll do it. Factor 9, Mike Delta, Walkstar, Roger, practice ILS 10, approved, maintain VFR. And uh, what are your intentions again? Intentions are direct ramp to the sir. 9, Mike Delta, Roger. That's right. Cherokee 601, just giving you a heads up at a helicopter to your 12 o'clock, or about uh, 5 miles, 2,700 in the opposite direction for 10. Negative contact, we're looking, 601. Cherokee 601, Roger, and uh, you can contact departure. Have a good day. Over here, departure. Good day. Milwaukee, departure, Cherokee 15601, 1700, climbing 3000. 15601, Milwaukee, departure, I'd end traffic 12 to 1 o'clock, and 3 miles looks like he's about to walk shot 2400, indicated. Roger, uh, negative contact, we're looking. 601. Okay, climb power is set. 601, your radar contact, file left to watch chair for traffic, just to pass around for a dead head to your right now, 2100, good check. Nice, so, uh, traffic inside, 601. 601, record, climb maintain at 6000. Climb maintain 6000, 601. I don't know why they were delayed. What's that? Weather? Oh, one of the dogs escaped. Oh no! Yeah. Law over 15601 contact, Madison approach 120.1. Over to 120.1, uh, 601. Madison approach, Cherokee 15601. 
4,000, climbing 6,000. Trigger 15601, Madison approach, good afternoon, Santa 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 3011. Good afternoon, 3011, Almost did it, almost at 55 kilo, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've got all the Madison frequencies memorized <laughs> at this point. Find <laughs> out there all the time. Hi, the center. Good morning. Good evening. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> what the hell was that? Is that on guard? It must have been. Let's go to 601, contact Chicago Center, 133.905. Over to Chicago on 33905. Five, five, two, see ya. So six zero one for the hand up. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. <laughs> Chicago Center, Cherokee 15601, level 6000. Cherokee 15601, Chicago Center, Madison, altimeter 3011. And uh, advise with the local weather and what approach you'd like at Monroe Point. 3011, and uh, we'll be looking for the visual 601. November 15601, descent of pilot discretion, maintain 4000, fourth field site. Descent of our discretion, maintain 4000, 601, will advise and field in sight. We started trying to tune in the weather for Mineral Point, but couldn't hear anything on the radio. We also tried to receive weather from another nearby airport, but couldn't hear that weather either. After failing to hear anything on multiple frequencies, we thought we might have been having an issue with our second radio and decided to try and tune in the weather with our primary radio. This would mean we were out of contact with Chicago Center for a minute and needed to let them know we would be off frequency. I get black though either. Alright, uh, my radio's for a sec. Alright, your radio's. Approach Cherokee 601. Uh, we think our secondary radio might be having issues. We're going to be off frequency for a sec. Okay, just report back on and report with the weather as well. We'll go 601. All right, let's put this on uh, our primary on 20.527. Yeah. 527? Uh, yeah, let's, let's tune in mineral points see if yeah. we can get it. I'm going to start leveling, leveling us off here. Hearing nothing but static on our primary radio told us everything we needed to know. We knew our primary radio worked because we had already been in two-way communication with Chicago Center. We also realized later that our secondary radio had been working because we were able to hear transmissions on the guard frequency earlier in the flight. Even though there were no notices during my pre-flight briefing, it was obvious that the issue was that neither Mineral Point nor Platteville had working weather broadcasts. So the road comes down, cuts to the left out of city. I got the field straight on ahead. Alright, sounds good. Alright. Um, if you want to tell them we got the field, I guess we'll tell them we couldn't get any nearby weather on any radio, but we can cancel IFR. Alright. Alright, Chicago Center, Cherokee 15601, we're back. Uh, we've got the field inside, can cancel IFR. We weren't able to pick up weather from the airport, however. 15601, Roger, radar service terminates, walk 1200, forget to change approved. Over to the IFR, forget to change approved, Cherokee 15601. And now we're probably, this is probably our nav profile. Look at that. Alright, uh, 228. And we're about 12 out. Iowa County traffic, Cherokee 15601, now 4 to the east, maneuvering for the left downwind runway 22, Iowa County. Reader traffic, Cherokee Street 2194 is left downwind for runway 18. Reader traffic, Cherokee 3233 is left downwind, 21. Oh, God, I hate 228. <laughs> hate it, hate it, hate it. Alright, well, we're going to start our inbound turn. Alright. I'll make our next call when we are coming into the pattern. Sounds good. Right now everything looks quiet, everything sounds quiet. Uh, reader traffic, Turkey 32194 is in phase from way 18. Reader traffic. Other than literally every other airport in 200 mile vicinity. 
I don't know if they call it Bureau Point or Iowa County. Yeah, I don't know. I love Iowa County because that's what's official. Yep, I like it. Usually I go with whatever the ATIS says. <laughs> but, well, you know, no way sauce. We're kind of flying blind. Iowa County traffic, Cherokee 1560, 25 on runway 22, Iowa County. We'll stay 20 degrees. There was a bit of a crosswind forecast. Kind of confirmed with the flag. Okay, gas, we have sufficient fuel. Mixers rich, your prop is full forward, fuel pump is on, we're ready for the go around if we need it. About 400 to go, coming in the final. Actually, that wind suck doesn't look too bad, we'll go full flaps. Yeah, it's pretty limp. Pitch for 85. There's 85, fly it all the way down. There's 80 over the numbers, runway's made, keep a few hundred in. Big butter. Flaps are coming up. Sterling. Windows open, and if you want to call our back tech, please. Iowa County traffic, Cherokee 15601, back taxi, runway 22, Iowa County. After parking, we talked to another pilot who landed shortly after us. He had the same difficulties hearing the weather on his radio, confirming what we already knew to be the problem. This means the only real radio trouble came from Alyssa trying to refer to the 235 by her personally owned Cherokee's tail number. Alyssa flies countless hours around the area and occasionally shares her flying on her YouTube channel. You can find her on YouTube at Alyssa Miller and I'll include links to her channel in the notes for this video. She has some really cool content, including videos documenting her planning and eventual flight and landing at O'Hare in her Cherokee. The last two legs of this mission included my first time getting an IFR clearance while airborne, confusing a paraglider with a bird at altitude, and a busy arrival back into Waukesha. Those flights will be featured in the next video, which is coming soon. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Badger Pilot. Switches off. Mags are off, flight plan is closed, cameras are at one. My final five, one, two, three, four. And